Hey everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to determine whether the following function is even, odd, or neither. And so this is the function that we're going to be taking a look at today. It's f of x equals 5x cubed minus x plus 3. So first off, I just want to show you the rules. This is in 5 seconds how you can determine if it's even, odd, or neither. So you know it's even if f of negative x equals f of x. You know that it's odd if f of negative x equals negative f of x. And you know that it's neither if it does not equal either of those two things. Therefore, neither equals neither. So if you're going to learn anything from watching this video, it's these three things. First off, I want to show you how I was able to determine whether this equation was even, odd, or neither. So here is our function up here at the top. That's 5x, or sorry, f of x equals 5x cubed minus x plus 3. And we're going to see if that f of x equation is equal to f of negative x. And so as you can see here, um, when it's f of negative x, we're going to make all of our x's negative in the equation. So we've got 5 of negative x cubed minus negative x plus 3. And if we distribute into each of these things, we'll see what that equation gives us. And so negative x to the third is still going to be negative, right? Let me go ahead and draw a little 3 there. So therefore we've got 5 to the negative x or negative 5x, which already is different from we, what we've got up here in this equation. Then we've got negative, or sorry, minus negative x. That just uh, becomes a plus sign. And so you've got plus x, and then the plus 3 will stay the same. And so as you can see, this positive x is different from that negative x. This negative is different from the positive. And so f of x is not equal to f of negative x. And so this equation is not even. Now we're going to take a look and see if it is odd. Uh, remember, if it's odd, that means that negative x equals negative f of x. So we've got our same f of negative x equation here, uh, which is equal to negative 5x to the third plus x minus 3. We're then going to plug in our equation for negative f of x. To do that, you're going to make the entire function negative. And so you put the original function, the original f of x, in parentheses, and you'll multiply it by a negative 1. And as we distribute into each of these factors, we're going to see if that is equal to f of negative x. And as you can see here, negative 5x3, negative 5x cubed matches up with negative 5x cubed. So that looks great. Then we've got uh, negative times negative x, that makes positive x, and that matches up here with a positive x. And so thus far it's looking pretty good, but then we've got this positive 3 right here, and the negative times a positive 3 is going to give us a negative 3. And so even though it's really similar for, for our f of negative x to our negative f of x equation, it's still different with that negative, x, negative 3 there. And so we know that it's not odd because it did not match our two equations of f of negative x and negative f of x. And therefore, since neither worked out, we know that this equation is neither. So I hope that you found that to be useful. And if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks.